Hey, welcome back to my channel where you see me do some cooking today and we're going to be making crock pot orange chicken. And again, this is gonna be my own recipe from others that I have seen and I'm taking out parts of some and inserting parts of others. And we're winging it this time around. This is the first time I'm making this actually. And so, here we go. We're going to do some crock pot orange chicken. Let's get to the stove. Okay, so these are the items that I am going to be using. Um, like I said, this is a mix of a few different recipes that I've seen online. So I am going to kind of Frankenstein my own together here as we speak. So we're going to be using some soy sauce, some sesame oil, some crushed red pepper flakes, sesame seeds as a garnish on the top, garlic. We've got some orange marmalade and some uh, barbecue sauce. I'm using chicken thighs that I'll be chopping up and I've got my the remainder of my brown sugar. And these are the things that we're going to be putting into the crock pot. Um, I've got to chop up the chicken and uh, then we'll come back as I'm loading things into the pot. All right, so I got my crock pot set up and we are set on low and I'm going to start by putting in the things that need to go in and I'm just going to put in one heaping teaspoonful of this garlic right in the bottom of my crock pot here and maybe a little bit more just because we like garlic here. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to just toss in a smidge. We don't need a lot because I know this is like really powerful stuff. And this is sesame oil. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in for that because I can always add more. You can just never take it away once you put it in there. And I got a small container of um, barbecue sauce and I'm gonna use about half of that. Just gonna squeeze it in that right in there. We're going to get all this going in the crock pot here. And then we've got some soy sauce that we're going to put in here. Just a couple of dashes of that because we want a little bit of that salty goodness in there. And then I've got um, a whole jar. If I can get it out here. I oh, probably can't. All right, I'm gonna have to use my spoon, my garlicky spoon. I'll shake it off, that's all right. It's just going right in here anyway, right? There we go, all right. Maybe we'll start off with a half a jar first. We'll put the old marmalade right to a. So I'm putting the marmalade in there. We're gonna give it a stir. So that's about half the jar of the marmalade. And this is gonna be like, it's gonna end up being our glaze for the chicken. So we're gonna want the chicken to cook down some. And of course the chicken as it cooks, cause this is gonna be on um, low for about six hours. And we're just trying to get all of this in here heated up. So I'm putting in my sauce first and then I will um, get my chicken all chopped up and that will be ready to rock and roll. So now we're gonna clean up my area and start chopping my right, chicken. So I got my chicken all cut up and we're gonna just put it right in the pot here. Plop, there it is. Now we're just gonna let it sit. I'm just gonna let it sit on the top because we want that to, the, the sauce to kind of cook a little bit more um, as the uh, chicken is cooking, but we'll come back when we have to stir and that'll be in a few hours. All right, it's been cooking for a little while and I'm gonna take off the top here and see what we've got going on. And I'm going to add my chili pepper flakes at this point. And I'm not gonna do a lot of the red pepper flakes. Um, just because, you know, it's supposed to have a little bit of spice, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. And I myself don't take to the spice as easily as others may. And already you can see that the juice 
and the chicken has gotten down into the sauce. So now we're going to just stir it all up in there and allow that to cook through. we got got quite a few more hours to go, but the first hour or so I wanted to make sure that that sauce was heated up and stuff. And so there it is. And now we're just going to let it cook for another five or so hours. Alrighty, so we're back. And this is what it looks like after it's been cooking all day long. Um, you can see that it is starting to stick to the sides here a little bit. It is a little bit more liquidy than I had thought it was going to be. But that's okay. I will just add a little bit of Wondra um, and thicken it up a little bit and make it more of a glazy sauce. And then I will serve it over some boil in the bag rice that I will cook up in just a little bit. I'm going to get the Wondra in there. And once that cooks off a little bit, then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we've got the boil in the bag rice on the stove boiling. And let's see, we've got our crock pot full of orange chicken here. And the Wondra has done its job and thickened up this glaze, this glazy sauce that'll be served over the rice. And I'm pretty sure that it's not supposed to be that juicy, but who's to say, you know? probably will taste delicious so once I get some of this plated up we will show you once the rice is done what the orange chicken looks like and I'll see if I can get Eric to give us a burn All right Eric there it is that's what it's gonna look like go ahead and take it and what do you think for orange chicken Tastes super orangey. Yeah? Mm hmm Tastes good? Mm hmm You think we should make it again? Yes. Was this a very good first try? Very good. And you're the first one to eat any. What does that, how does that make you feel? Accomplished. <laughs> All right, guys. That is our Crock-Pot Orange Chicken with rice. There it is. All done. And in the bellies of my family. I hope you enjoyed this video and come back again. If you like it, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks. See you soon.